The nuclear renaissance we anticipated in the early 2000s is now within reach. At a House Science, Space, and Technology Committee hearing on Wednesday, Congress met to talk about how nuclear energy is becoming a strong candidate to power the AI revolution. Nuclear's capacity factor of 92.5%, let that sink in, is the highest of any, any energy source. Witnesses from the nuclear energy sector were invited to testify. Both Oklo and Constellation Energy are playing active roles in leveraging nuclear power for clean, reliable electricity. America must win the race for AI supremacy, and to do that, we need to assure timely power supply for AI infrastructure like data centers, while at the same time securing reliable, affordable, and clean power for all customers. AI has triggered a Sputnik moment, accelerating the demand for dependable domestic power. According to Goldman Sachs, AI data centers will have a significant contribution to power demand growth, driving a 160% increase in power demand through 2030. Congressman Zoe Lofgren started our line of questioning asking Dr. Jeremy Renshaw of Electric Power Research Institute about China, America's chief competition in the AI race, who is currently building a massive nuclear energy infrastructure. China is definitely moving fast. They have the infrastructure in place, manufacturing capabilities that have accelerated their ability to perform. Uh, currently, they're on pace to build reactors in about 52 months, so just over four years, and they're doing that on time and on budget, meaning that they are growing in credibility and trust with the people who are ordering those plants. So that's a credibility and trust that would be important to have in other regions of the world to be able to say, this is how much a reactor will cost to build, and this is how long it will take. As the hearing wrapped up, Congressman Heard wanted to know what Congress can do to help. What barriers is the industry facing and how can Congress help remove them so we can start building more reactors and putting electrons on the grid? I think the, uh, the one barrier I see right now is just fuel supply, you know, get, having enough fuel. There's a lot of plants that need HALU that are in the works and so whatever can be done to get that fuel released for use. Um, and then uh, funding research to be able to uh, undergird what these the new generation plants we're trying to bring to market. For more Congress news, stay tuned to Congress Clips, and thanks for watching.